and welcome back everyone. For week 15 of the 2014 NFL season, I am really busy at work this week, so I'm not gonna have time to edit my video the way I normally do, so less bells and whistles. It's just gonna be me spitting it, going old school, uh, as it were. The first thing I'd like to do is congratulate the two winners of the Geo Nose Contest. Congratulations to Jerry Tapp, a longtime subscriber, and also to Rita Murphy, who subscribed just a couple of weeks ago. Congratulations to you two. You're the winners this week for your chance to win some Let's Take the Man's Money gear. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into the picks. The first game we're gonna look at against the spread has the Pittsburgh Steelers going to uh, Atlanta, where the Falcons are two and a half point dogs at home. You saw what happened with Atlanta on Monday night. They came back from a deficit, looked really good, but you know what? The truth is they were actually losing by three and a half touchdowns at, at the half, and I, I think I think Green Bay got the call from Vegas saying, hey, let's, listen, uh, Mr. Big likes the Falcons, shave some points, and I don't know if that's what happened, but uh, it looks like uh, Green Bay just gave up, making Atlanta look a little bit better than they, they are. They're, they're also, they also may be missing wide receiver Julio Jones, who got banged up in that game. He accounts for about 100% of their offense. Meanwhile, the Steelers are playing really well, Roethlisberger's doing a good job as a quarterback and Bell's running great. Brown's catching everything. And besides, uh, the Steelers shaved uh, some points about five weeks ago in that Jets game. I, I like the Steelers here. Let's lay the points and take Pittsburgh uh, minus two and a half. The second game we're gonna look at has Houston going to Indianapolis where the Colts are six and a half point favorites at home. This is it for Houston. They lose and they're probably out of the uh, playoffs. Uh, the playoff picture. You know, there's something to be said about uh, divisional games. Last year, Indianapolis swept this division. They went 6-0, and and since the last alignment, no team has ever gone back-to-back -back sweeping their division. The closest was uh, Green Bay a couple of years ago until my Vikings put a stop to that. And, and, and he, uh, Indianapolis plays Tennessee in a couple of weeks. This is going to be their biggest test. I think they're going to lose this game. Uh, I like the way Houston's playing. Uh, uh, Fitz, Fitzpatrick is playing very well putting up points, and Andrew Luck's been struggling putting the ball on the ground a lot here in a game that I think Houston can win. I like the points, so let's take the Texans plus six and a half. The third game we're gonna look at has San Francisco going to Seattle where the Seahawks are 10 point favorites at home. You saw what the champs did to the Niners a couple of weeks ago. They're gonna do the same thing here, uh, except at home and even worse, they're gonna give them everything except the lubricant. So uh, lay the points and take the champs minus 10. And the fourth game we're going to look at has Dallas going to Philadelphia, where the Eagles are three and a half point favorites at home. This is a rematch of just a couple of weeks ago. Remember, they played on Thursday. Dallas really needed the rest more than the Eagles, who had that high powered, high octane offense. Now Dallas gets 11 days of rest, and the uh, Eagles are coming off that Seattle game last week where they got bounced around, and the Seahawks had the ball for like 42 minutes of the game. The score was closer more in, uh, than, than it should have been. Actually, the Seahawks really beat them up. I, I like the Dallas Cowboys to win this game. They have a much better record on the road. I believe they're 6-0 and on the road, and against the spread, they're dynamite away from Dallas. So let's take, the, let's take Dallas plus 3.5. And here are the over-under picks. We're going to start off with the Jets and the Titans. That number is 42 and a half. Garbage teams. You know, any time two garbage offenses get together, it always goes over. Ugh, it had happened with the Jets last week against my Vikings. I think it's going to happen again. So let's take over the 42 and a half. Uh, the, uh, we talked about the Dallas-Philadelphia game. That number was 55. Uh, I think a lot of points are going to be scored here. So let's take over in that game. Green Bay is at Buffalo. That number is 50 and a half. Uh, Buffalo plays almost nothing but unders. Uh, I, I think uh, Green Bay will be do just enough to win, but I don't think it'll be a high scoring game. So let's take under the 50 and a half. And on Monday night, New Orleans at Chicago. That number is 54. There's entirely no defense there. So let's take over the 54. For my let's take the man's money parlay play, we're going to take Pittsburgh minus two and a half, I believe. We'll take Seattle minus 10. We'll take the Jets Titans over the 42 and a half. And we'll take the New Orleans Chicago game over 54. And we'll take Dallas on the money line. A $25 bet will get you $830.20. So good luck just in time for some Christmas shopping. Okay, here are the straight up picks. The Thursday night game has Arizona going to St. Louis. The Rams are playing great. Uh, Spence like four and a half. I think that's a little high, but I do believe on a short week for Arizona, maybe looking ahead to Seattle next week, I do believe the Rams will, will win this game. Oakland's at Kansas City. Uh, Oakland, what in the world were they doing winning last week? 
You know, they had a, a clear chance at the number one overall pick and they go and do something stupid like winning a, a, a meaningless game. That's what bad teams do. They always shoot themselves in the foot. Nah, nevertheless, Kansas City is going to get their revenge for that uh, Thursday loss a couple of weeks ago. So let's take the Chiefs. Jacksonville's at Baltimore. That should be no contest. So we'll go, go for the Ravens. I talked about Pittsburgh uh, beating Atlanta. We'll go with the Steelers there. I like Houston to upset the Indianapolis Colts. Cincinnati is at Cleveland. Wow, you know, Johnny Manziel finally starts for Cleveland. And uh, that means, that's bad news actually for the Cincinnati Bengals because that means that a lot of people are going to be watching this game. It's going to be in the spotlight. And every time the, the, uh, the Bengals are in the spotlight, uh, Ginger soils himself. So I, you know what, I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns here. Uh, Miami's at New England. The Patriots should win that game easily. Buccaneers are at Carolina. Cam Newton's hurt. I guess it's Derek Anderson going for the Panthers. Yeah, I think he beat them in week one. I think he'll do it again. Buccaneers have got nobody left on defense. I, I think uh, the Panthers will win. Washington at the New York Giants. We'll go with the Giants in this game. Green Bees at Buffalo. I don't think there's a better quarterback I've ever seen in my life than, than Aaron Rodgers right now. He's, he's won one Super Bowl. He's going to win this Super Bowl. I guarantee you the Packers are going to win. He'll probably win one, if not two more. At the end of his career, you might be saying Rodgers is the best quarterback of all time. Uh, defensively, Clay Matthews, if it wasn't for the year that J.J. Watt was having, everyone would be saying that this guy is the defensive star of the year. He's that good. Uh, this team is just too much for, for Buffalo. Uh, I think they'll win easily here. Minnesota is at Detroit. Detroit should win this game, but you know what? The Vikings, every time around this year, they always do something stupid, like win a game on the road. Last year they did it. Uh, the year before they did it back-to-back. -back. Uh, I hope the Vikings don't win because uh, my good buddy Steve Coleman from Half Moon's Picks is a big Lions fan, and we're not going anywhere anyway, so I, I think the Lions will win this game. Uh, who, who do we have next? We have the Jets at Tennessee. Oh, my goodness. The, the, the uh, Titans are, are back down, back to Jake the Fake Locker after the kid got hurt. You know, both these teams, uh, after winning their first game of the year, have gone one in 11 since that. Uh, I've never seen a team with such terrible quarterbacking as the Titans. I wonder if they could dig up the remains of Steve McNair. I think he'd be a better option right now. That was in poor taste. But nevertheless, I stand by it. I think the Jets will win. Not that Geno Smith is any better, but at least they're trying. The, uh, it, it looks like the Rex Ryan era is over at the end of the year, so he's going to, going to want to go out in the bang, and at least the Titans are playing for a higher draft pick next year with the current management. So let's take the Jets. Denver's at San Diego. You know, last year, the only game that Denver lost in Denver was against San Diego. As a matter of fact, Peyton Manning has had a lot of difficulty versus the Chargers, especially in San Diego. I remember a couple of years ago, he threw six interceptions in a game against the Chargers. I think that San Diego wins this game. So I was going to take them as my money line play, but yeah, I've had a difficult time getting Denver right this, this year. I, but I, I do like them in this game. I'm just not going to put any money on it. Uh, and, the, and the next game is a game we talked about earlier, Dallas at Philadelphia. I think the Cowboys win straight up. And uh, the Monday Nighter, New Orleans is at Chicago. I like the Saints here. They used to always win uh, on the road. Now they always seem to, uh, they used to always lose on the road and win at home. Now they're always, uh, you know what I mean, it's the reverse. Let's take the Saints. Okay, so those are my picks for this week. Listen, I want you to go check out geonose.com. You can catch all the other uh, YouTube prognosticators. I, I put their videos up on my site, and you can download our app pretty soon. We're going to be voting for the GeoNose Awards coming soon in a couple of weeks. I'll keep you more informed on that as we get closer to the end of the year. Okay, for the GeoNose YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.